Chris Babin joining us now. And I'm dressed up as a tiger to celebrate Halloween. And Chris, I guess, <laughs> is dressed up as the president and CEO of the Better Business Bureau of Acadiana. So uh, you didn't get the memo well, this year. You know, Maybe I, next time. I should have. I should, you're absolutely right. I should have dressed up. <laughs> but anyways, getting into our BBB tips for this week. We're talking about QR codes and how those might be beneficial for businesses. When it comes to small businesses in particular, right. how might they be able to use QR codes? Well, it's actually a great, most of the time free marketing feature that businesses can capitalize on. Um, I first kind of remember seeing more of these during the pandemic when mm -hmm. things started opening back up. A lot of menus at restaurants were a little yeah. code you'd scan with your smartphone. The good thing is when you create a QR code, most everybody has a smartphone, so they're able to access digital media on whatever it is that you're trying to market as a business and access that immediately on their phone. Some of the things we would remind people though, not only to utilize QR codes when possible, you know, maybe you have marketing brochures, create some QR codes, but something we found as BBB's tried to use QR codes ourselves is if you don't have a paid version of a QR code generator, which you can find online, mm -hmm. a lot of times those QR codes will expire. Mm -hmm. So if you use a QR code, maybe you're printing some mass marketing materials that's gonna last six months, Obviously, you want to make sure the QR code that you're using is going to be good for that entire period as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a, a big tip when it comes to creating right. the actual QR code, making sure uh, if it does have that expiration date that you're staying up to date with that. Yes. But um, another thing with creating QR codes, keeping your business safe, because I mean, we know so many different ways that hackers can, you know, get to these businesses and consumers. Right. So on that end, what do we need to be on the lookout for? Well, for one, you're going to want to make sure the QR code itself goes to secure content that you're providing. That way, when a consumer or even another business scans the QR code, no, nothing looks fishy to them to where they maybe think um, something's not legitimate. Um, making sure that the QR code's gonna last, depending on what um, QR code generator you're using, whether it's a paid version or free version, you can customize those a lot as well. Um, when you're on the scanning side, unfortunately, we have seen um, times when these QR codes are a little misleading. You may think that you're paying to park and it's actually bringing you to, um, to a fraudulent website. So just some things to be aware of. Yeah, and of course, these tips and others can be found at BBB.org.